Soda for Life. Uh, today we're still doing Guest Star July, and I was going to say as always, but I guess as sometimes is with us, it's Mr. Weird. Ta-da! <laughs> uh, today I was going to say that we were going to drop the bomb on you, but actually after reading the label, I guess we're dropping the boom on you. Um, this is Boom Pop, and despite the fact that it says pop, it's a wine. <laughs> It's, um, it's so weird, right? It, uh, uh, yeah, a bomb pop wine, I think, qualifies as weird. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, I saw it in the store. It is a, a glorious shade of blue, and I knew in my heart that I must have it. Um, but, yeah, so St. Julian's is a Michigan winery. I did a brief amount of research on this. This is supposed to be a sweet white wine. We know that's a lie because this is blue. My eyes are not that bad. Um, but it is supposed to emulate a bomb pop. Uh, Bob, have you had a bomb pop before? You know, I'm not really sure you would think I would remember. I probably once sometime in my life have. But I do remember we tried those bomb pop sodas. Oh! I was on here one time. And I didn't like it because it was too cherry. Because you know I don't like cherry flavors and then you foisted it on me. I have some bad news. <laughs> yeah, as you say, here we are again. <laughs> uh, Why do you do this to me? Because <laughs> I love you, and I wish you would love the best fruit. <laughs> it's not the best fruit. It's an awful fruit. Our cherry fan. You've lost me the whole cherry fan contingent on here. <laughs> well, I'm sorry to the cherry. Well, maybe, well, maybe I, I don't know. Maybe, I'm sorry to He probably would never embrace me anyway. I'm sorry to the cherry community. <laughs> Uh, well, yeah. but with that, yeah, I don't know. I mean, we occasionally do try alcohol on the channel. Uh, you know, we, we've done the monster drinks. We've done the Mountain Dew drinks, which I did finally notice in our, it, it's taken literal years, but I finally noticed the hard Mountain Dew has made its way to our local Meyer, along with the new flavor of Livewire. I almost bought a 12 pack to try the Livewire on the channel, but it was paired up with the Baja and the watermelon, and both of those were not good flavors in the first place with this Hard Mountain Dew seltzer, and I know I can't voice that off on you. I don't know. I hear Live Wire, I just think of the Motley Crue song. That's because you're old. <laughs> well, that's fair, I suppose. <laughs> that's supposed to be their orange soda flavor, is Live Wire. Oh, okay. So, uh, maybe someday I'll try it for the channel, for the giggles. Uh, maybe the next time I think about well, it. Orange is a better fruit than cherry. I'm just saying. So you're witnessing <laughs> grounds for divorce. The Weird Empire will continue with me. I have to get rid of Mr. Weird. That's what we've learned. Um, but enough of this. Uh, and I, maybe it won't be as cherry because it's supposed to be a sweet white. So I almost wonder what flavors they're putting in to like emulate this. Uh, a bomb pop traditionally does have cherry as the red tip. And then it's got like lemon ice in the middle. And then it's got blue raspberry. Um, I suspect this is probably going to taste more like blue raspberry than cherry. Your face looks upset. Well, blue raspberry is also kind of sweet. It's a sweet white wine! <laughs> oh, I don't like sweet! <laughs> You're lucky I love you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm obviously encroaching on his time, so uh, let's just get to it. Um, <laughs> St. Julian's, it's... Um, as you can see, it does say boom pop. Um... And then on the back, it, it says, and I'll show you guys this in a minute. This sweet wine is bursting with flavors of the red, white, and blue. Because America. Uh, fruity cherry, lemon drop, and blue raspberry notes come together in an explosion of flavor that will be a hit all summer long. This is grape wine with natural flavors of certified color. And then on the back, they have like a ranking. And you can see it's firmly in the sweet. Bob is going to divorce me. <laughs> but... Uh, with that, let's... Oh, no! If you give me diabetes, I will definitely divorce you. Oh. <laughs> I can't. Well, Did you like help? Well, I can't get this over. <laughs> okay. There we go. Huh, now you're complicit. Okay. And, of course, we can't drink wine without fancy glasses. Oh, my God, it is blue. I told you! Did you yeah. think I was making it up? Well, I thought maybe the bottle would be blue. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So, of course, like fancy wine sommeliers, we spin it around. You can see the legs. Maybe you can't. Ah, eh, you can't really see it. Why am I bothering? 
Let's see. I don't do any of that stuff. I know you don't. You just <laughs> throw it back. I just throw it. I do that with the soda. I'm not gonna not do it with the wine. Okay. Um, All right. <laughs> it got too close to my lip. Um, I will say it does smell a whole lot like a sweet white, um, with a little bit of blue raspberry, like the tartness of a blue raspberry undercurrent, but mostly just smells like nondescript white wine. If, like, yeah, I was thinking that just smells like wine to me. And with that, cheers. Yeah. Okay. Well, surprisingly, I don't hate it. That's <laughs> 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 your, your bar. Um, I really like this wine, but I'm going to tell you right now, it is so sweet. Like, I can feel my teeth developing plaque as we speak, and I can feel a hangover starting to form because that's how sweet this is. Um, but I liked it. It tasted like melted blue raspberry, like, sorbet or like a it kind of tastes like an icy pop that has melted on the sidewalk <laughs> maybe not on the sidewalk but it's syrupy is really what i'm trying to get at it, it yeah I'm, maybe i gonna say for mostly it just tastes like a really sweet white wine to me but i, I guess i could see sort of syrupy sure yeah it tastes thick um which i guess is wines especially sweeter wines in general is that they t tend for me to taste a little thicker on my tongue um, so I guess, and I mean syrupy in this, in like what feels like the thickness. It's not, as you saw, it poured like a normal liquid. Um, but you can definitely taste the blue raspberry notes. I do also taste a hint of cherry. I was a little bummed and I think this is very hard to emulate. So this is not a ding on them. I think it's very hard to emulate a lemon, especially when you're in between two sandwich flavors of cherry, which is a strong flavor and blue raspberry, which is a strong flavor. And I think it's really hard to have like a, lemon band in there you, you know i actually i was complaining about cherry but i really don't taste much cherry in right this. i taste blue raspberry yeah. mostly and that's what i was going to say too it's like there's a hint of cherry in there there's enough sweet cherry in there that i can taste a hint of it but i taste very little lemon if at all and it's mostly just blue raspberry all the way down um that, I do, that doesn't bother me. Mm -hmm. um, I do think this is a sipping wine. If nothing else, this is not one of those ones that you're going to drink and like just pound because it's too sweet to do so. It really is something that you're probably going to nurse. We did drink this wine cold. Um, I wonder what... I would actually think it probably would suffer for being warm. Oh, I don't, I don't think I could take it warm. Yeah. I think the coldness really does help with the sweetness of this. I don't know if I would buy this as like a standard wine. And I don't think that was ever on anybody's radar to do. But I mean, you know me, I, when I do drink wine, I like dry red, but I'm, I'm mostly a beer guy. But when I do or drink it, I like it dry and red. I would say I would probably set this aside to have as a novelty at a party because it's not bad. But again, uh, I, I don't see anybody going, ah, yes, the finest vintage in my vineyard is going to be boom pop. Um, so if you do like blue raspberry, I'd say go get it, cool it, but go get it as a novelty. Um, but I really actually don't think it tastes a whole lot like a bomb pop either. I think it just tastes like blue raspberry wine. Yeah. Well, it doesn't taste like the bomb pop soda that you had me drink last year. So, or whatever that was. So yeah. Yeah. And those were, I think much closer on uh, flavor palette wise to a bomb pop. Um, well with that, uh, who knows? I have to admit, uh, I've kind of said this in the descriptions of the videos and stuff, that I'm filming my guest star appearances as much as I can. So I don't know if this is going to be our last video or our second to last video. Uh, if it is our last video, thank you for watching all of Guest Star July. Um, I hope you enjoy it. And if you're ever interested in trying a soda with me, let me know. And if this is the second to last Guest Star July... Then next week I will be filming one more video trying a 7-Eleven exclusive Mountain Dew. Uh, so hang tight either way. We'll figure it out. Um, until next time, uh, drink weird and uh, force your spouse into trying weird drinks with you by putting a camera in front of their face. I highly recommend it right up until the divorce is filed. <laughs> I guess if you wanted to, if you wanted a divorce, I suppose that's something to try to do. Sure.
<laughs> I don't know what I was going to say here. It's going to be something dramatic, but <laughs> we're not getting divorced. <laughs> no, we're not. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> see, you, see you next time. Maybe. Love you, dear. Somebody has to. <laughs>